I've got to say, without laughing. But um, I'm going to really wind you up this. I'm going to love here. And as well. Um, it'll kind of done to put the shit for other people too. Sorry about that. I really am. I really am quite sorry about that. But, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, my head like still hurts. It was still hurting, so I went to the doctors. And my scalp's been uh, <laughs> same injury, similar injury to someone who's had their hair caught in something that's spinning around and pulls their hair. But the hair doesn't pull the hair out. But it kind of um, disconnects the, the scalp from the skull, yeah? And it hurts. It takes a while to heal up, it takes much longer than air. Normal, that's why a normal, I said like I'd rather be kicked in the head, because um, it, it fucking hurts. And I thought, it, you know, after a day or two, it'd be all right, you know? But it didn't, kind of like, but like I said, last, yesterday, it, must be, it definitely feels feels more painful yesterday than it did on last Sunday. Right, when I say painful, it really does. I'm putting my head down, and so it takes weeks to, to heal apparently because you're always moving it around. So I was moving it around, really tender. And um, I have to um, treat this because uh, I think it really is affected me. Probably. But uh, it's in a good way because I've wrapped a lot of things up. But yes, I am pressing charges, very much so. And so the solicitor talking to me this week and uh, the list of offences yeah because it was coerced and arranged set up ambushed chemical attack and that's treated trying to pull someone's hair out doesn't come out that's grievous bodily harm grievous in fact this coerced with the school teacher and her husband because the target was me or directed at my dreads oh my gosh uh, so, so what would happen if you just pulled my scalp off you just all sat around and laughed or something well what do you have done this is where I, you know the mindless thing is I mean don't worry I'm not going to be me moaning making films when uh, a few more, well, more than the police will come knocking around, yeah? What, well, you know, well, not, not knocking around, put through your door, as in, not smashed through letters, paper things that you can open and read through at your kitchen table, you know? And have a good moan at that, you know? So. <laughs> This is actually fucking horrific. And so like, you know, all that day, people's phones dogged calls and texts and shit like that. I hope they deleted them. Well, even if they have. <laughs> Say that I told you that to, to, if you have already. That is something a bit warm here, but it doesn't really matter because it's on the call register. So if you delete it, it'd be like, hmm, that's even more suspicious. <laughs> well, wh wh why, did, why didn't you upload that to Instagram? Because it was too freaking horrific. I mean, someone said, might have slipped and there might be something up, up there. I'm sure. I don't know. It doesn't really matter if you delete them or any, any evidence from your phones. Because uh, it's, it, it's all recorded anyway. Everything recorded. Just know that by now, even deleted texts, made films, anything. 
So, it doesn't really matter if you delete them or not. You filmed yourself. People have filmed it themselves. And they've fingered themselves. When I say finger themselves, I never thought it would be out being all crude. I talk about finger like text. Text. White. Everyone fingers themselves, really, think about it. Wah. Wah. And this, my friends, is where the thread comes full circle. Believe it or not, where that attack, horrific attack, which I think has been really disturbed me for quite a while because of the run up to it. It wasn't like a spur of the moment thing. And it was like, you know, it's horrendous, this, really, it really is. Um, and I guess that was, what some way term was a crucifixion event. I felt like that in my life. I wondered why I was floating in the air, because they, they were holding me up by my dreads. That's the reason why I fucking got up. Cause like you fucking, they're trying to fucking. Oh my! I hear it's at the back there. They're trying to pull my fucking head off. And his wife did as well. That's fucking dodgy that. And um, right, get this now. Love day. You're in some fucking serious trouble, mate. You better fucking start quivering. And I'm not joking. <laughs> and I kind of uh, wish I was, in a way. Wish I was joking. But you're going to have to listen to this, you fucker. Aren't you? You're going to have to listen now, aren't you? Don't worry, though. Because, um, well, that's what I'm saying. Where that attack took place, believe it or not, 21, not 22 years ago, literally a could probably like piss over to the spot where I first met the person who attacked me 22 years before and you wouldn't believe this in the summertime in, in July so it might even been like to the date I'm not sure but it was in July God, I think they had uh, was it in July it was in the summertime because me and Phil were in the garden driving uh, uh, with Morgan Pooh there and his first and we, we, I'd already you know, quite a, few, quite a few times when you look at this guy, love day, you know, like he's in France. My, and then, um, yes, yeah, so that's my first match, the love day. Uh, now, uh, I think he's 29, I think. Anyway, love day. Man, <laughs> I, 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 I hate to say it, your wife too. Serious. Um, serious. Christ, but you're looking at time then. Yeah? I'm not gonna draw it. Proper time. And it'd be hard to freaking try and get out for not getting a long time. Is there? Anyway, just let you know. I'm a bit 